I think maybe we're getting all that's out of the way for that. Yeah, exactly. Tompo, we should have a TASing marathon next year. <laughs> <laughs> One game, a hundred hours. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you who don't know what TAS is, it's a tool-assisted speedrun, which is uh, different from speedrun because it's done in emulator and they use. Uh, save states and advance the game frame by frame to make sure that the game, the gameplay in the game is basically perfect. Uh, I don't know if you want me to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. As Alodo is asking, I'm starting to wonder how many deaths he initially projected. Uh, I was going to say, so these were counted for the <laughs> Probably five or seven. <laughs> so, okay. Really? Are you sure it'd be only four years? It depends on the game. <laughs> it's killer dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's my comment. Like four years is like one from Super Nintendo. Maybe from Saturday. Yeah. It's like How many more levels do you have? Uh, what am I at right now? We have 40 stars or something. Someone said 40 stars at least. Yeah, I think you're around 30. So about 30 left? Mm -hmm. 30 left? Yeah. I'm over halfway down. <laughs> Seems to be moving along pretty smoothly aside from the decades and just something hitting you when you're falling down and stuff, which seems like there's nothing you can really do about that. Yeah, I mean, pits are just the bane of anyone running this game. Yeah. It seems like it would be something that it would normally be a single segment style game. No. <laughs> it's like a It's part of the church that we have. Uh, yeah, it's part of the challenge level, and the doubles keep piling up too. Fifteen dollars from Nicholas Ola, for what's his goal left, and five dollars from David Ball, the man with the cojones. <laughs> and he is the man. He cleared the gap for our initial five thousand dollar goal um, for classic games done quick. I'm sorry that we told you that the gap was two hundred when it was really three hundred sixty. <laughs> And Nicholas Holette says, Andrew Jean, Jeff Beasel for life. SD rules, keep it up. I hope you guys do this every year. I hope we do this every year too. Uh, Mark Sufield, the kind of connection we have over here, um, it's like something like we get around 45 down and 8 up. It's really nice. <laughs> I can say that much. Yeah, during the day, I guess. Yeah, during the day. Even during the night, it's still pretty good. 
Someone, you know, said, "Whoa, five thousand dollars—that's way too high." No, before we did the marathon, but he also said, "You should set the goal to a hundred dollars." Wow! <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He said you should set the goal to a hundred dollars. Like, aim a little lower. Wow. <laughs> okay. The poverty marathon. That's yeah. the dollar lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be lucky if we got a hundred dollars. No, you just stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember it being a bit, a, a slightly harder than what it looked like now. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really expensive. Well, being that is uh, being run at late at night, so. <laughs> that's. Oh, wow, she is ugly. That's my line, and I'm sticking to it. Three dollars. Um, we are currently three percent towards the hundred dollar gold. Uh, Arrow, uh, Laura, Laura Linville wants uh, to hear an explanation of the social jump. Um, if you spin and then do a butt stomp in midair next to an enemy or an NPC, you'll home in on it, and then you'll get this. If it's a, an NPC, you'll do this sort of ricochet off of them in the opposite direction. That goes a lot farther than a normal a normal long jump would. So. I think that's the only. I think that's the only place in the run where I do it. Yeah, our. I think the TV we're currently using is 25 inches. 20. I thought it was 27. Oh, 27. <laughs> They're big. They're definitely big enough. Just light size. Can you close And currently, our total is two thousand two hundred sixty-four dollars and two cents. Thank you all so much for donating. I would have never accepted this many donations in such a short amount of time. And we have a new donation from Jacob Showalter. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Sir, R. The. Uh, Showalter. <laughs> and, and his comment is a little something to kill cancer and keep gaming alive. Here's to y'all. Why, thank you, Mr. Showalter. Yeah, I'm not going to speedrun, I'm going to do camera lines. 
want to see crossbow training one. Yes. Crossbow <laughs> <laughs> training. <laughs> that doesn't make a difference. Actually, it's not too bad. She makes another working as far as I am. I don't know what I am. She has a Euro Grown 18 grand. I tried to look for it, remember? So much for all the great publicity. Keep in touch, Jay. Best to all, Linda. Thanks so much, Linda. You, you really did. I really have to say that um, Prevent Cancer has really gone out of their way to promote our marathon and to just help us in general. They, they even made a PayPal account to make sure the money was, is sent directly to them. known as Mickey Mage on our forums. And Fisher Rob for anybody that... Yeah, I'm going to check for new donations. I'm not sure where it came. Yes. Okay, looks like there's two new donations. Matt McIntyre uh, donated $10, and Brian Ockley, who donated $5. Ryan who? Yeah. Ryan who? Uh, Ryan Oakley. Oakley. Oh no. O C L E E. Yeah, right. That's my name. Oh. Oh, okay. Say hi to him. Matt McIntyre says, "Hey guys, just want a donation. Hope you keep doing this for many years to come." Hey, don't we all? <laughs> Tricks, tricks that are almost as amazing as Yoshi's Island tricks. What do you have to say about that? I'm hoping yes. Thank you. 